Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. So the one thing we've confirmed so far is that we can beat a Grixis deck. I know that. Huh. I don't know what that says about Grixis. Are you looking to upgrade all your Commander decks with all the sweet new stuff from Commander Legends? Well, don't you worry about it because Card Kingdom has all the Commander Legends products up right now for order at cardkingdom.com. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Single Scoop. This week we're playing some historic fun. That's right, it's going to be Chandra, Chandra, Chandra. All things Chandra. Uh, we've got Chandra's Regulator, we've got all the other, like a few other random Chandras, we've got Chandra's Triumph, and all this is really sparked by the fact that we have Chandra Torch of Defiance. A powerful interaction um, is Chandra Acolyte of Flame using her first zero ability to put a loyalty counter on each red planeswalker you control. Uh, obviously, the other abilities are going to be relevant somewhere along the way, but the first one's the most important as we try to pretty much curve right into Torch of Defiance. And then what happens here is then Torch of Defiance can pretty much ultimate the following turn as you Chandra zero, put a loyalty counter on Torch of Defiance. Torch of Defiance goes up to five. Then you do either plus on Torch of Defiance, goes up to six. Then the following turn after, that's when you go zero again, and then you immediately emblem. Of course, you know, this also goes quite nicely with all our other Planeswalkers. So, without holding up any longer, let's see how Chandra's Tribal deck does. I'm keeping this hand. Assuming we don't get Thought Seized and the opponent doesn't put like 50 threats early, we might be okay. Oh, wait, they might be Counterspell Heavy. Never mind. We're in trouble. So we have a single copy of Chandra Awakened Inferno. Oh, this should have just been another copy of that, but I just wanted to play every Chandra. Alright, so they've got probably four sensors. Um, four abra- or like, uh, absorbs. Dovin's Veto, okay. Yeah, it seems good. Well, we drew the counterspell out on that one, so that- that feels nice. That's actually- and like, it wasn't like any counterspell, it was like a hard counter too, so that's perfect. Come on, deck! So now we just gotta- we at least have the mana for absorb, or I mean sensor. We're just gonna slog through all the counterspells and just keep jamming. Um, sure. They probably have something here, but it can't be Sensor, so that's good. Yep, Rewind, yep, yep. So they're, they're definitely playing 50 counter spells. Uh, like, if, if you're seeing Dovin's Veto and Rewind, that means they definitely went heavier on the counter spells, because something had to go out of the control deck, right? So it's probably less sweepers or removal, and it's probably all counter magic. All right, I'll go ahead and play uh, Mind Stone. Do they have more counter spells? They do. But they need to figure out if they're going to actually counter my mana rock here, right? And then I'm just going to play Chandra's Regulator. Oh, okay, sure. You got it. Perfect. Uh, I don't know why they would counter the mana rock, but I'm glad they did. So, go ahead and play Chandra. Add two mana. Play the Regulator. It's gonna hurt. And now we pass. So, four, five. Yeah, ECD, you got it. Uh, there that there goes that. So four, five, six. Guess you don't need me anymore. Uh, let's go ahead and oh, let me read this. Whenever you activate a loyal, you may pay one. You may copy the ability to do targets for the copy. Okay, cool. And we're gonna go ahead and just hit them for four. That's four mana. Pass back? I mean, we gotta hope they don't have more ECDs or something like that. Yep, there's Teferi. Alright. And that should about, like, lock things up here, right? Because I don't know what we can do to even stop that. Like, all of our stuff costs two more. They play nothing but counter magic, right? Oh, yeah, that's that's terrible. Alright, um... Let's discard that. Oh, that works. Anyone need a match? No. Too bad. The issue is they're gonna get it These back. Guys are great. So I'm just gonna send four damage at the opponent, let them keep Teferi. And next turn we get to resolve another Chandra if they answer uh, the, our, our, little, our little Chandra. And we just keep hitting them, no matter how much counter magic they have, I think. Like, obviously get rid of Teferi if I can. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna kill the Teferi this turn because they bring it back with ECD and it comes Full back at 5 loyalty play. which is much worse. So, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4, 
six. We have exactly one mana after casting the Chandra. So regardless, I can make another body if I need to. It is unfortunate that we lost our both of our Torch of Defiances, but uh, you know what? That's cool. Whatever. All part of the plan. And we're going to set all the damage at this opponent. Or I mean at this uh, Teferi. Just because I don't want to risk it. They could have a shark block or no. I guess I don't see how they would have three or I guess settle the wreckage. It's all the same there. But we get to draw, we get to get a lot of basics if they settle us. So they know about it. They know about six mana Chandra coming in. And the best part, I mean, like, I think we got to just kill any one thing they play, right? Uh, what do I do here? So let's go ahead and activate. Go get him, buddies. Let's go ahead and kill Teferi. If they settle the wreckage, me, whatever. This is hardly my way. Am I getting censored here? I think I wait. Yeah, I'll just wait. There's no reason to play anything right now. I want them to tap out and spend more of their mana. Uh, and I think I'm going to set the blast zone on either... Like, I think about... Let me. What can I do this turn? I'll add two counters to it for sure. Um, one, two. Yup. Oh, that's good. So now I don't get censored. This is why I'm going to play it now. Like, giving them value off censor feels really bad. Yep, cancel, so they're all counter spells. When you see cancel, you know somebody's only got counter spells. Alright, so opponent is down to eight. We can loot our way to the next, or to a Chandra if they try to tuck it with another Teferi. We also have Chandra's uh, Triumph to get rid of the Teferi. Six, seven. They probably play Gideon too, right? Ooh, Rome Cloaked Giant. That's a nice one. All right, so what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to go and hit this minus Chandra, do it again. Yeah. All right. Sit back and watch it burn. Oh, actually, look at Anger of the Gods. Get rid of that. And then I don't have to use... Yeah, I'll just do that. I'll Anger of the Gods. Uh, decline. Cast. So then I don't have to use my Chandra's thingamabobber. Uh, let me see. Go ahead and just loot. We got rid of the giant, so that's all that matters. Ugin is a problem. All right, yeah. That's a good one. We have to draw another. Defy the designs of an Elder Dragon. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we drew a Mind Stone again. My plans do not cut out. All right, so what do I do now? I got to find a way around that. That's useless. That's Stone Cold useless right now. I guess we're looking at a lot of problems here. All right, well, our out was to draw either another Chandra's Triumph or another Chandra Acolyte of Flame. We did not, so we've now got to beat the fact that they've just got Ugin sitting on the board. Yeah, I think that's it. That's, that's about a lock. Or as much of a lock as it can get. Yeah, that's a bummer. Man. All right. Um. All right, let's see what we can do here. I don't know if I can let them have another turn with Ugin, so I'm probably going to actually just have to double plus here. Four, five, yeah. Or I could just play Heart of Kirin, but then that gives them another turn. Uh, all right, fine. We'll see what happens. What happens here? Yep, rewind. All right, so they're every counter spell in the game. Like, it, they, they definitely typed in counter target spell, and then that's what they added to their deck. And it works. It works against us, so good job on them. All right. More counter magic? Quench. Yup. They are going to run out eventually. I mean, we just got to find big Chandra, right? Like, the the six uh, Awakened Inferno, because I know that's going to resolve. However, the issue is that they probably have another ECD lined up somewhere. Oh, I needed a turn just to answer this card. Now it's kind of spiraling out of control, though. Oh. Yep. That's two bodies, so plus two cards even after we answer it. Like, I have to minus, and then... Oh, uh, that's not a bad one, I guess. Do it on their upkeep. I'm going to keep the Graft Digger's Cages in my hand. I don't want to get caught out by a... Uh, any shenanigans from the opponent, like, you know, like, or, like I, I, if I draw another three-mana Chandra, I want to cast from the yard. 
Neutralize. Yeah, they got it. This one's over. Oh, I'm keeping this. We have actually a perfect curve, right? Yeah, we have a perfect curve. I mean, we have the Magma Spray into a Heart of Kirin. Uh, as long as they're not like a blue-white control deck. Okay, so green and black are probably getting thought seized. Yep. Uh, so Heart of Kirin's probably gone here. Yep. And I'll go ahead and just play the mountain. I don't want to play Shatter Skull Summit. Not unless I absolutely have to. Yeah, I'm, I'm revealing my hand to them, but that's fine. Chandra? Uh, sensor or something like that? Counter? Or is it Growth Spiral? Ether Gust. Uh, I'm gonna decline that action. Alright. I have another one, and I really want to make sure I find a better Chandra to play. Uh, also cuts them off of playing Growth Spiral, right? So that's good. Uh, at the end of my turn, that is. Now that most certainly is a Chandra. I'm gonna plus this one. And just hit Let's the opponent. Because I think they might have uh, Nissa coming up yet. here. So this will allow me to go ahead and ping something down. Oh! Too many lands for the opponent, it seems. Alright. Let's see what's on top. That's a good one. Oh, I'll take that if I can up. resolve it. I'm the best fire starter there is. And we're gonna go ahead and play that Chandra. Now we have the whole like team of Chandras coming out here. Uh, does this not resolve? Oh, it does resolve. Very Chandra nice. So we're gonna put a loyalty Fire counter on all of our Chandras. Next turn, if forward. they do not answer Acolyte of Flame, our Torch of Defiance will get to ultimate. Uh, Chandra Pyromaster, we're not ultimate because it doesn't matter. <laughs> we're done here. Oh, bummer. All right. Um, top card. Yeah. All right. So let's go Over ahead here. put a loyalty counter on everything. Study, focus. I just want to burn stuff already. Yep. You're Plus going two. Down. So now we have this Chandra, and uh, that should be good, right? I mean, sure. You know, like whatever. They they might have an answer to this, but next turn they're dead if they don't answer the uh, little Chandra helping big Chandra ultimate. All right, and we got there. Taste it, Saltai. I'm gonna run this hand because we have Anger of the Gods. I see a Lurus, and that means it could be Black Red Pyromancer or Rakdos Pyro. And if it's the uh, Aura's deck, we have early interaction with Chandra's Triumph. So, hopefully. Now, I, I think maybe I should be playing a few Soul Seers in the event that we get paired up against the Aura's matchup because they, if they had the little puppy, the puppy then makes it so stuff's indestructible. Um, I think that was a little bit of a deck building error on my part, uh, not adding Soul Seer. Because that also hits Planeswalkers. Oh, okay, so yeah, it's Auras. That's going to be concerning, yeah. I don't know if taking three damage is the business, so I'm going to just try to oh, go ahead and Chandra's Triumph here. Hopefully they don't have a double spell. All right, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm not letting them untap with that. So, go ahead and pass here. Because if they untap with that, they could refill their hand. Perfect. Um... What am I looking at here? Should I play Chandra this turn? What's the worst that happens? They play that, they have a one mana pump spell. There's no one mana pump spell that keeps that alive that I that, they, that hey, most lists would run. So, no. uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and plus the Chandra here. Two damage isn't uh, much of a thing to them. This puts it so that I can actually go ahead and minus two twice on uh, Acolyte of Flame. Oh, perfect. Well, heckin' yeah. Don't mind if I do. Um, hmm, that's awkward. So if I use that now, I'll never get to use this. Eh, it's fine. I'm gonna wait a little bit before deploying the, uh, the Graph Digger's Cage. I don't think I need it yet. Uh, do I have anything in the yard? More stuff later? Okay. May as well just keep hitting. I'm gonna hold on to the Graph Digger's Cage. I don't want to play it because I want to have access to something like Anger of the Gods or, or Chandra's Triumph here. Otherwise, we're going to just beat him down with a uh, two power. To the end of days. Huh. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, we have a removal spell in the yard. If they have an answer, we just... Minus. Auto pay. Yeah. We respond again if they have the dive. Yeah, okay. 
spawn again. He's good. This is just gonna be bad for you. All right. Uh, we're gonna hope this is good enough to. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take that. Discard a mount card or draw or discard a red card. Right. Check. Finally. All right. Sick. Um, I'll go ahead and pay one. We'll go ahead and make four tokens here. Let's go to combat. Once again, still gonna just hold on to the, uh, Graft Digger's cages. Gonna need to use some of the stuff in the yard, right? Because that, there's still a Chandra's Triumph in there. So that gives me a little bit of a uh, value out of that. Oh boy. Oh boy, are they going off this turn? They might go off this turn. Might. Alright, never mind, doesn't matter. Oh, I could've just played- no, hold on. I think I like that still, because then it allows me that if the opponent does, uh, you know, have something to do to respond with, Don't I guess worry, I can get him, have plays to still make, like I can mine a Chandra. Alright. You get an emblem whenever you, you have, they would be putting in your room. Oh my gosh. Alright. Are we in trouble? We are in trouble. That's bad. That's really bad. So, oh wait, no, hold on, hold on. That puts it at five, right? Yeah, so if they don't draw another aura, we have a shot. If it's a dive down, we're in trouble. Decline. All right, nice, we got there. That feels good. And let's go ahead and start discarding some cards. All right, perfect, sure. Now that I have nothing left in the graveyard, or not enough loyalty, ooh, that's nice. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and put a loyalty counter on all my stuff. Uh, we'll copy the ability. Find your so now, Jaya would pretty much, so I'll put it in your graveyard, you may cast this, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep plussing here. Great power requires sacrifice. Let's go ahead and play this. This should get it to be lethal next turn. Because then we pump the barons. These can attack and block. That's totally fine. So yeah. All right, they're dead. Uh, all right. So that should be it. Hey, hey. And we'll go in for some great. Dimaggio. Remove from that Jaya. And now we swing in. If they have settled the wreckage, we get blown out. All right, and we got there. Seems good. Yeah, we have some ramp. We have an early Graft Digger's Cage. Uh, I'm gonna hold on the Graft Digger's Cage though, because we don't know what the opponent's deck does quite, just quite yet. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait, because if this locks me out of my own Chandra's minus, then that's bad. All right. So hmm, it doesn't actually tell me much seeing that, because that's not necessarily like oh it's goblins, right? Hmm. Mind Stone, sure. They've got to be some kind of red aggro deck, though, right? Yeah, there's some kind of red aggro deck. We'll wait. We can hold on to this until, like, around... They have, like, three or four mana. Then this way we don't get caught off guard by any kind of, like, Muxus shenanigans. All right, so it is just mono red. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um... Hmm. They must have a lot of good cards. Today's my lucky day. We've uh, got a little bit of time before I I'm actually all that worried about the Bowmat. So for right now, we're going to just see what they do. They could have up to potentially, what, four damage if they do have like Ken or not a, whatever, the two mana, two one haster that makes things camp block. Uh, more hasting. Yeah, okay. Seems good. So how much of that is going at Chandra? None of it. You know what? Whatever. That's good. I'll take that. That means we get to use Regulator? Oh, sweet Christmas, yes. Um, all right, so we play Regulator. We pay. Yes, I would like to do that. <laughs> Today's my lucky day. Kill that. There's no problem, fire can't solve. Destroy that. Pass to the opponent. And I still get to hold up mana. Now, I do need to find a 
board wipe. So, uh, regulator will hopefully filter me into something. They are stuck on one land, so this tells me their hand is very good. It's probably loaded to the brim with a bunch of burn spells or something like that. Well, 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 well! Look at this. Look at us. I can just do this for three. I don't even need to... I mean... Let's get some damage out of it, I guess. Why not? Decline. Oh, oh that's not bad. Gonna hurt. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. Uh, I'm not even gonna ultimate Chandra, anyways. I'm gonna just wait a little. I don't need to do anything. Sure, opponent. You gotta swing into Chandra at some point here, because she does ultimate. Feel and then they'll pain. probably commit another threat to the board, and then I'll blow up both. There you go. Sure. There you go. Yep. Look at us. Be easy. As long as I don't click on the wrong mode. No, that is in... I don't think I've ever seen Shatter Skull smashing correctly uh, do the split. It's always whichever one... It's always like, oh, well, I want to deal two to the, the Fanatical Firebrand for some odd reason. Why? That that makes zero sense, but okay. There's the shock. You will regret Spending their turn to answer my stuff is always nice. Yes, let's copy the ability. Oh, Boom. Today's my, yep. uh, You're going down. Decline. And I'll just go ahead and play that. Pass. So now we have another kind of a land. Mine says pretty much a land. I don't know how they beat this. The Chandra's just gonna keep uptaking and like picking off anything now at this point. Oh, finally, that's good. Yeah. Let's make it so that I have a this lot more mana at the end of all of this. Today's and I don't I don't need day. these Graft Diggers cages. They've already shown that they are not relevant in this matchup because I know it's not goblins. Let's discard a mountain, see what we draw. Big Chandra, or a bigger Chandra, the Heart of Fire. Now we're going to town, right? No, we're not discarding our hand. Nothing. We're dealing two damage. Yeah, <laughs> look at us. It feels bad. We're kind of like bullying Mono Red on one mana, though. That's the only thing. Well, turns out we know we can beat Red Deck if they have one mana. Unless, of course, we just lose r r this upcoming turn and they just send all the burn at us, which is... Also probable. And possible. I'm gonna probably have to ultimate, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, we still could lose. Yeah, that's two at me. Oh, now you're asking hmm. for it. Maybe we just play this, pick that off. That's four damage each. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and exile here. And then we're gonna go ahead and plus this Chandra. We'll play this pay for that. Oh, nope, two to the face. Yep. Eh, it doesn't You're matter. And that's putting him down to six, so they're dead next turn. They are dead next turn between our two Chandras. That's eight damage. That's so funny. They were stuck on one land, and we're almost dead. We're almost dead. All right, and we got there. Mm, yeah. Uh, sure. There, there's a Graft Digger's Cage. Okay. Okay. Planeswalkers with an attitude. And that's Chandra. I cannot wait to use this card. Oh. I remember when they revealed this card at PAX West. This was like the most wildest, the most wild thing ever. Like, I, I was like, oh, because at that point, I, I think the only Planeswalkers that had like four abilities were like Apex Predator and like Jace the Mind Sculptor. And, and this, this is a very good card. Uh, I don't know what they're playing, so we're gonna wait a little bit. Uh, seems like they play- they're playing something with an- Huh. I'm gonna play Graft Digger's Cage. We're gonna see if that matters or not. Oh, they're probably playing Mono Green Planeswalkers. How do we beat that? Because up next is Chandra, right? Or, I mean, Nissa. Okay, you got it. Cavalier, okay. <laughs> I can answer exactly one Cavalier. Uh-oh. Ulamog. Uh-oh. We're we're in a pickle. We're in a pickle, that's for sure. This would die almost instantly. 
so that's pointless. I don't even, like, what do I actually do about that? Like, nothing, right? I mean, kind of just sit here, hope they don't have another one, or I guess they don't have anything else to do. I think that's my only hope now. Well, they have stuff to do. <clears throat> Anger of the Gods here is going to be nice, though. They won't get anything back. That's going to be pretty nice. We're going to take five. For fun, of course. Anger of the Gods, the sequel. All right. Love it. Best part, they don't get any of the abilities of these dying uh, cards. So nothing. All right. Sweet. Uh, willing to take a single Planeswalker now. Any Planeswalker in our deck, please. Hello. Mm. More ramp. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. One land means that that is Ulamog mana. Ulamog mana is sad for me. All right. Well, I guess I don't have to worry about absolutely losing out here. Because I do have another Anger of the Gods, which can... I have six damage in hand. For a creature. Oh, come on. No! Uh, sure. I will not stop. Creatures you control. Alright, well, we're gonna kill that. I will return. So anything they play kills us instantly. Very good. Very good. Ugin, great. Just great. That is a hit. Planeswalkers, unfortunately. I cannot target that. Has protection from red. So I need a braid. I need a lot of things. I need a lot of things and none of them are going to help me right. Oh, man. Well, I guess after some point they're only bound to hit haymakers, right? A braid helps, but it doesn't mean that they don't draw the cards, which is unfortunate. Darn, Karn. That rhymed. Why? Doesn't matter. All right. They, they got us this game. Uh, you know what? I Like, technically, like, I was supposed to add some counters onto this, but... If I'm being completely honest. Oh, yeah. Now it definitely doesn't matter. Here. Hold on. Give me a second. Let me add some counters here. Resolves. Uh, animate. Okay. <laughs> I'll go get a land. What do you got for me? I may have just drawn nothing for a few turns. That would have been nice. No! Not another Graph Digger's Cage. All right. We're going to cast this to let them know that we had it, even though it does nothing. Yup. I can't even hit myself with Magma Spray. Darn it. GG's. Keep. Look at that. Just need lands. I mean, this is like a mulligan to six. And I would keep this on a mulligan to six. Magma Spray in case it's an aggro matchup. Along with the... Okay, so it's probably Rakdos... Pyro? I don't know. They would normally have a Lurus, but okay. Play Heart of Kirin. Now if we can draw a land, please give me a land. Please give me a land. Untap land. Oh, it's Grixis? This deck's amazing. Punnett's deck is tier one. I already know it. Let me explain how I know that. It's Grixis. Won't lie. I'm a pretty great hey, These little guys are great. In we go for damage. Dimaggio. Alright, that's six damage. Punnett's deck's Grixis. It's already it's already tier one. I know it. I know it. No bias. That's just the truth. <laughs> totally an unbiased opinion for me, first off. Well, I wanted lands, but you know, I guess beggars can't be choosers, so. Let's go make some little fight. friends. I'm telling the abbots. In we go, maybe? Don't fatal push me. Ow. All right, fine. We'll just play another one. I wish Magma Spray hit Planeswalkers. That'd have been so much better. So this upcoming turn, we're looking at potential Bolus action, right? Like, oh, tap land? Great. Graft Digger's Cage? Okay. So they have something in their hand right now because, like, what, what would it be, though? What are they doing? I can't cast anything in my graveyard, but that, that's fine. I don't have anything in my graveyard. Sure, we'll go ahead and animate here. Alright. I just want to burn stuff already. I'm holding on here. Cause I think we need to make sure that we like I can kill them later, right? They have a Nico Bolas now, that's fine. 
That's fine. We'll go ahead and discard that. Okay, and GG's. We got it. Is this a hand I want? We have a lot of mana ramp. We're on the draw. Sure, I'll keep it. So the one thing we've confirmed so far is that we can beat a Grixis deck. I know that. Huh. I don't know what that says about Grixis. No Graph Digger's page. This is... Oh, this is a moment. All right. All right, we'll let you have another... Oh, God, no. Yep. Yep. Anger of the Gods, hello. Thank you. See, I told you. Ask for it, you get it. That's how it works. That's how magic works. You will it into existence, YouTube. You will it into existence. You ask for it, you get it. All right, let's get rid of both of those. Now I gotta figure out how I, I gotta find Graph Digger's Cage real soon, or we're gonna be in trouble. Uh, little Snoopy, all right. I'm pretty desperate. I am pretty desperate. Give me five cards. Okay. <laughs> not the greatest. I'll be honest with you. It's not the greatest. Play the Heart of Kirin. Next turn, we're gonna just try to use Jai Ballard to find some kind of Graph Digger's Cage. Because they, they definitely have Muxus now. They didn't before. Yup. And even then, Mux is just attacking as a big body is good enough. Cranko. All right, so they, they have Muxus. <laughs> That's concerning. Time to face me. No! Stop it! No! Yeah! We're so dead. So that's three mana crank out for sure. Muxus, you got it. Hopefully they just miss. They have like five, six lands on top. Well, they, they had more than six lands. Ah, oh, darn it. Gosh darn goblins. You got me. Maybe they don't know to attack. Dang it, dude. Nothing gets past them. They knew to attack. Ah. Oh. All right, fine. I'd like to crew, please. Yep, yep. And I'm gonna block here. Yep, blocks are correct. Thank you. And that concludes our run this week at a 4-3. and three. We got bodied by a few decks, but we also got to do some Chandra shenanigans. I'll say that a few times. Chandra shenanigans. There we go. Uh, but yeah, so that was a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, like, the, the deck does need a little bit of way, a few ways to deal with Indestructible. Because Auras is popular. And as long as there's an Auras deck, I think cards like Soul Seer might need to be needed, uh, is needed. And, you know, like, we, we had, like, no real way to, like kill anything at all that was indestructible. So, uh, Chandra's Triumph is nice. I like the card. Uh, it does deal five to a Planeswalker, so I think that's good. A Braid is needed. Um, Graph Digger's Cage was either the best or the worst card in our deck. As you can see, sometimes it's just a... It's needed, though. I think we have to main deck it in best of one. So, I don't know how you would try to do a Chandra deck and not make it a meme. Unfortunately, I think it's going to just stay a meme for a while. I mean, obviously, I could, like, cut Bald Pyromancer and Jaya and try to remove a little bit of the flavor. Having Heart of Kirin was nice, though, it, as and it was flavorful. So, um, we'll see how this moves forward. Maybe we just need one more Chandra? I'm not sure, but thank you so much for watching another episode of Single Scoop. And as always, I do appreciate y'all supporting the content. Feel free to leave a like and a sub and hit the bell icon to be notified when a brand new video goes live. Other than that, your friendly neighborhood Asian Avenger signing out. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.